Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and this is my first full video after being gone for about two weeks. I was sick as I've ever been in and out of the hospital. It was a really rough two weeks, and I want to say thank you to everybody who hung in there, who stood by my side, all the kind words. Thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm just so happy to be back in front of the camera sharing what I love, which is firearms and the Second Amendment. So today we're going to be taking a look at something that you guys may not have heard of before. This is actually a chassis system from Tribe Defense. This is the Tribe Defense rapid offense chassis system this thing is really cool works with your remingtons your 700s your ruger americans your Hawas, savage model 10s really does fit quite a bit so we're going to be talking about that today stay tuned The U.S. Concealed Carry Association helps responsible Americans like you prepare for what happens before, during, and after an act of lawful self-defense. USCCA members get life-saving education, expert training, plus self-defense liability insurance. These benefits provide more than 500,000 USCCA members with the peace of mind that they deserve. Plus, a USCCA membership is always risk-free with their 100% money-back bulletproof guarantee. Membership is truly an investment worth exploring. Click learn more below right now to activate your U.S. Concealed Carry Association membership. Click learn more now. The USCCA is not an insurance company. A policy has been issued to the USCCA by Universal Fire and Casualty Insurance Company. That policy provides the association and its members with self-defense liability insurance subject to its terms, conditions, limitations, and exclusions. Okay, so let's go and talk about the Tribe Defense Rapid Offset Chassis System. Now, there's one thing that I don't like about modern chassis systems these days, and that is that they tend to be fairly heavy. A lot of them have, you know, full handguards that cover the entire barrel and these really big oversized designs, and, you know, they're really kind of complicated and large, and they're just too heavy. Uh, a lot of chassis systems these days weigh more than the entire rifle before you switched out the stock. And so that makes certain uses, like if you're going to be hiking, backpacking, if you're hunting and you got to, you know, walk out into the middle of nowhere for two to ten miles, it, it can be difficult to lug one of those things around once you put a chassis system on it. So you got the optic, you have the mounts, you have that, you know, oversized chassis, and then obviously you have the barrel and action and everything, and it all adds up. You end up with a very very heavy setup that just doesn't work for everything. A lot of the chassis systems that are out there for you know today's use really seem to be more or less marketing to those people that want to do like long range precision competition or mostly range use, right? This right here is a much lighter weight minimalist chassis that you could still use for the long range competition stuff because it gives you an extremely rigid platform, but at the same time, it's not so overbuilt and so complicated that it makes a platform that just weighs too much to ever take hunting or anything because you want that precision when it comes to hunting or you know or just you know you're out there in the field at the same time but you just don't want to lug around something super heavy so this one right here as you can see it's very minimalist it's well done 
and it's not oversized. This comes in at just a little bit over three and a half pounds. So to me, for a rigid aluminum chassis, that's really not that bad. And you still get a lot of the ergonomics and features that you might get out of some of those heavier, bigger chassis. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this chassis. Now, again, it's a full aluminum chassis, 6061 aluminum. It is nice and thick, so it is very, very rigid. It's very strong. It has the M-lock in the front at the three, six, and nine o'clock positions. It does come in several different Cerakoted colors. As you can see, it's got that really nice kind of urban gray color that's on here right now. Uh, the M-Lock is also very nice, nice and thick, well spaced. It's easy to mount things in there. Currently, I have the Magpul bipod in the front right here. Not my favorite bipod, I'll be honest with you. It's fine when it's down like this, but as soon as you extend it out, it loses a lot of that rigidity and becomes just a little bit too flexible. I think they said they did that by design, but for me personally, I'm just... Not, not a huge fan after using it for quite a while now. Uh, again, it's a full aluminum chassis, very nice, very thick. It does allow you to use AICS box magazine. So let's say that before maybe your model would take uh, you know a five round magazine or something like that, and you wanted to increase the, the capacity of that, you can switch to these box magazines right here. It'll take uh, poly and steel magazines. So poly and steel magazines are gonna fit in here just fine. It does have an ambidextrous mag release, which is right here. So you can just go ahead and push forward on that and it's gonna drop that magazine free. And again, that's ambidextrous on both sides. Now, one of the ways they saved weight here is instead of making this, you know, fire control area right here, you know, with the uh, trigger guard and all that stuff, aluminum and making it maybe a little bit heavier, they used a polymer composite, which is also feels very strong and I haven't had any issues and I've been using this thing for quite a while now. Uh, it's a nice polymer composite, which helps keep things, you know, fairly lightweight. Now it also comes with a very, very nice grip. This, this grip is ergonomic. It's got more of a 1911 style angle to it. So it's not very swept back. It allows you to get a nice good grip on it. Now I would say this, there is a small, I would say a bump right here where you can kind of rest your thumb. So precision shooting, you want to keep that thumb on the same size so you don't pull anything, but there's no good thumb rest right here. And I'd like to see a thumb rest on that side. That would have been uh, the, the only complaint that I had is there's not really a good thumb rest on this side uh, or on the other side for that matter. But uh, really nice grip. It's very ergonomic, very comfortable. And this one right here, instead of buying like a chassis, some chassis come in several different pieces. So you can buy the main chassis itself and then you can, you know, add your own components or you can buy the factory components and add those to the end. This right here comes as a complete single piece. So you don't have to worry about buying anything else. And uh, it comes with the stock and the stock has an adjustable comb height on it. So you can get yourself set up directly behind your scope every single time. So you can adjust that height, get it all set up to you. On the back, it does have spots where you can add uh, quick detach sling attachments and things like that. And then it has a really nice rubberized butt pad on it that does feel very good. Uh, 308, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. And so having that little rubberized pad right there, if you're gonna be out, you know, for the whole day, just having fun or, you know, going long distance, eventually, you know, it can cause you a little bit of soreness in your arm. But with this nice rubberized butt pad, it actually feels very comfortable. In front of that, there's gonna be a bunch of different spacers so you can adjust your length of pull. The length of pull on this can be adjusted anywhere from, I believe, 13 inches to 14.7 inches. So around an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more than an inch and a half of pull adjustment right there. For me, I just left them all in. I like a little bit more of a length of pull. It just kind of in, you know, helps bring my arm out a little bit more. So I'm not kind of, you know, tucked in so much. So I left all of the spacers in there. But if you are a little bit shorter, your arms are a little bit shorter, you like to bring it in a little bit more, you can go ahead and remove those spacers. There's screws in the back. It's easy to remove those and shorten up that length pull all the way down to about 13 inches. Now, this Tribe Defense Rapid Offset chassis system was sent to the channel by Optics Planet for me to test out and review probably a good six or seven months ago. So I've been using this thing quite a bit. You've seen it in a bunch of different videos, uh, testing out tripods, optics, and things like that. So uh, it's definitely been on the channel. So I've had a lot of time to use it, and I, I think it's a phenomenal chassis. It's very rigid. Everything is very stable. Nothing feels like it's going to move. I always use a little bit of Loctite when I'm putting everything together. It's just simply two bolts. So if you're somebody who's worried about doing something, I wouldn't be. It's extremely easy to switch over from your standard stock to a chassis system like this. Uh, again, I always recommend a little bit of Loctite just to make sure that things don't back out on you. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's fairly simple. 
Now, like I said before, this will fit a bunch of different brands. So if you have a Remington 700, if you have a Howa 1500, if you have a Ruger American, a Savage Model 10, bolt action, something like that, uh, this is gonna fit just fine. And again, like I said before, it's it's easy to switch over and you will see an improvement. If you're coming from a, a let's say not a chassis, but if you're coming from a, a stock that maybe isn't bedded properly, or maybe it's a fiberglass or poly stock that's a little bit flexible, anytime you can add rigidity to that, you're going to improve accuracy. Now, obviously that's gonna depend on your skill. You know, if you're uh, somebody who's just novice or just, you know, starting out, you might not see too much improvement, but if you're somebody who is proficient with that platform and then you switch over to something like this, it's gonna help you be just a little bit better. And sometimes it's just that little bit better that, you know, that counts, right? Because it may be only, let's say a quarter inch at 100 yards, but once you stretch that out to 600, that quarter inch can turn into several MOA. So again, just that little bit of improvement is gonna make even bigger differences at long range. It is a beast of a chassis and I really do like it quite a bit. So I wanna thank everybody once again for hanging in there, sticking with me. I'm glad to be back and uh, I look forward to making more videos for you. I wanna thank you all again very much. Have a great day.